and welcome back if you have been with me throughout Virtual Gaming Con. If you wandered upon this stream and you're not part of Virtual Gaming Con, you're still more than welcome to join the stream. We are doing a live play along of 13 Sheep, which is a little free roll and write game. <clears throat> and I'm going to be posting the link to the sheet right here in the channel. You won't be able to print that out so quickly, but you will be able to just throw it into a program like Microsoft Paint and play along that way. If you decide you are joining at the last minute. The game is pretty short, so the stream will be half an about half an hour and we'll be able to get two games in, one on each sheet. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Feel free to come say hi in the chat box. And I will slowly start explaining the game. Someone please confirm the audio is actually working because that would be super helpful. I'm not seeing anybody just yet, so I hope you can actually hear me. If you can hear me, please give me a shout out in the chat box so I can confirm it's working. Everyone is so quiet. Let me ask real quick to our viewers if it is working. Because I don't want to keep selling too long. Yes, great. Dean hears me. All right. That means we can get going. Okay. So in this game, you are trying to protect your, your sheep from being eaten by a wolf. The wolf is gonna come up in a couple of turns, but we'll have a while to prep for it. The game will last a variable amount of turns, depending on when the wolf arrives. Once we get to these turns, if we roll this number or higher, the wolf will arrive. So this is a 6 or higher, a 5 or higher, a 4 or higher, and finally a 1 or higher. So we'll know for sure the wolf will come by then, but he could show up by surprise a little early. And what I'm going to do on a turn is roll one die. So this is a game that doesn't take a whole lot of components, guys. We're going to cross off the current turn. Or you can just write a number in it if you prefer. That way, if I'm going too quickly for you, you can always catch up later at your own pace. And then we will have to draw a fence somewhere on this field. And the die will determine what kind of fence. So in this case, we are drawing this shape. And you can rotate that if you would like. If you hear a weird mouse sound in the background, that is one of my cats. They love joining our streams, so they could be popping into our field of vision at some point. I'm going to place this fence somewhere now. And what would be ideal is making one big group of sheep, because at the end of the game, you will check which sheep are completely fenced in and you will get victory points for them. So the bigger your group, the more they will score. If two of them are together, they're already three points. But if they were both singled out, they would only be one point each. Because sheep like to flock together a bit. Let me see, where do I want to start this time? I'm just going to go over here. Some of the edges of the board have some bushes. You cannot draw a fence through a bush, guys. This is not okay. That doesn't work. That's not really a good way of protecting your sheep. In order to protect them, they have to be fenced in entirely by the time the wolf arrives. The outer edge of the board is not a fence yet, so even if you try to make a fence somewhere over here, you're going to need a fence along the outer edge of that board as well. So that was turn one. Hopefully I gave everybody enough time to draw their first fence. And let's roll again. It is another one. You cannot use the same edge twice, so I could not go like this. That wouldn't work. But you can draw out from this from a similar space. So I could go like this and then that one sheep would be protected. I don't really want to do that to be honest. I kind of want to make a bigger one. And you do not have to work uh, adjacently to previously placed fences. So I don't have to place the next one there. I can place it somewhere else on my board entirely. Mm, what are we going to do? I'm going to fence in this one. That's just about legal because the bush is on this side. So that would be okay. And then we go another one. 
Seriously, that's gonna be a very boring game, guys, if we roll all ones. If it keeps doing that, I'm gonna grab another die. Might, I uh, hope this shouldn't be unbalanced because we used the same die last time, but you never know. Let's see. Hmm. I could go like this, but I would kind of like, I would kind of prefer to go this way. I'm gonna go for this one, and then later on, I hope we roll number three so we can connect these two together. And then that was turn three. I'm gonna roll for turn four now. By the way, yeah, okay, seriously. You saw me roll right there's a little bump in this cloth. I'm gonna re-roll this and move a little bit to the side because I think it might be messing up my die rolls a little bit. There we go. Alright, see now it actually rolled properly. Because I felt like it was just bouncing on the table and even though I rolled it in my hands it didn't really work all that well. So now we actually have a different fence. We have number six and number five is kind of a similar shape but it's mirrored. Which means you can rotate number six but make sure to not accidentally mirror it. If you're like me and you're really bad at that and you are likely to accidentally mirror it. What I do is I have a second sheet next to me and I rotate that one so that I can make sure I actually place it legally. By the way, if you've listened to my streams before, you'll probably notice at this point my voice is getting kind of strained. This is day five, day five of the virtual gaming con. And I have been online for about 14 hours a day, talking almost non-stop. So, that would be why. And that might make you think, oh well, you might be happy that it's almost over, then you get a break. But I'm really not, guys. Can we just extend this convention for like another week? Because I'm having way too much fun with all of you. Okay, that was turn 1, 2, 3, 4. I did mark those correctly. Great. Sometimes it's good to check that. And then we have fence number 4. No, you cannot build through bushes. So you cannot build a fence here. And the other thing, I don't know when you arrived, Vincent, but in case you missed it, you also cannot use the same exact edge twice. You can't draw like this again. So you can't place a fence over another fence, but they can share an edge because I did this before and or, I mean they can share a corner so I did this and then the other one is directly attached to that so obviously that is allowed otherwise you can't really fence in those sheep can you there we go let's see I want a three and not a four to be quite honest but I will take a four I suppose I think I'm gonna put that over here and then hope we get a two later to protect both of these sheep and if we don't get a two then they might get eaten by the wolf well this game is nice and sort of relaxing to play in the way that it's not too brain burning it is really brutal because you will get no matter how hard you try you'll probably have more sheep eaten than saved by the end of this game which can make some people go oh no my Main goal is just to always make sure I save one. And if I go for a really big field, there is a small chance that I won't be able to close it. And then they all get eaten. And then I would be really sad. But as long as I save one, I can be a little happy. The last live stream we had one of our viewers who only managed to save a single sheep. So I was like, well, at least you accomplished that. And now you have a pet sheep. That sounds kind of fun. I would like a pet sheep. I would also really like to roll number two and three. But that doesn't look like it's happening. I still have to sort of work on closing this as well. This is not going well, guys. They might all end up being eaten by this point. I really need to roll something else. I mean, I could do this, but then because they can't share an edge, the chance of me actually being able to close it around here is kind of unlikely. I'm just gonna go fence in this little one so that I can say I at least saved one and I'm not gonna try to get this one to join the bigger group anymore. Because the wolf could be showing up in two turns already. So that could be a little rough. Let's roll. Number four. That's not a three. I wish there was an ability to change that, but obviously there's not. It's not. Okay. It's just a simple little game, guys. So it makes sense that that's not allowed. Let's see. What are we going to do with that? <laughs> Poor sheep. Sheep, I foresee you becoming food in the near future, I'm afraid. 
I'm gonna go for this and now I actually do want another one so <laughs> right now I wouldn't be too unhappy with that to be honest so seven one two three four five six that's what I thought I still have to mark that off luckily I remembered what kind of shapes I built it was like one two three four five uh, five six seven so now I can check I did that correctly and now we're rolling again if it's a six that means the sheep will get eaten directly after that and I really hope that's not the case because no my poor sheep it is a four so we know we will get at least one more turn to do this not that this four is gonna help me all that much and remember guys don't accidentally mirror your fences please that is still not allowed Oh, 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 I can actually close this right now. I can do it like this. And then this one is saved as well. I'm not really succeeding at my goal of trying to create like a big group. I was originally aiming to either fence in these three together or these three. Or if I was super lucky, all four, but that was unlikely to happen. But I was kind of trying to create a little group. Well, that's clearly failed. So let's just go with saving what we can save at this point. Number five. And that is the number we needed for the wolf to appear. So that is unfortunate. Guys, that means this is the final turn and anything you haven't saved by then will get eaten whether you want it or not. And obviously you cannot draw a fence that goes out of the grid. So I can't put a five over here. It would go off the border. So I actually can't save these sheep with the current die roll. I'm afraid. Because I wasn't allowed to mirror it, so I can't pretend it's a 6. And the only way I can rotate a 5 to close off this little bit is by building off the board. So that's not going to happen. So it doesn't really matter where I place this last fence. Same goes for this other edge. So as you can see right now, this is not really smart, guys. You don't really want to leave your open and the sides too far along the edge. Because it gives you a lot less flexibility than doing it on the in the middle of the board. This still has two open ends as well, so that's not one I'm going to be able to save either. So I'm just going to draw this somewhere. Look, you poor sheep, you'll protect it a little longer. The wolf is going to have to walk around a little bit. Poor thing. So that would be it, and you would count all of the sheep actually fenced. I only have two little singles ones, so I only have a measly two points. This is not good, guys. This is my third live stream of this game, and I just keep scoring less and less every time, I feel like. I think my high score for this is 13 points, but yeah, that, that it definitely depends on the dice rolls. You can play this solo and try to beat your own high score, but remember the numbers that come up will influence how good of a chance you actually have. But yeah, starting out differently and making different choices definitely matters. You can see that right, this right now in the live stream because different people played along and they are all ending up with different scores, so... It does mean if you make different choices, and I made some pretty horrible ones in this one to be honest, you're likely, you will likely have done a little better than me at this point. And by, as always, feel free to share your results with me. If you're part of Virtual Gaming Con, you can post your results in the channel. You can also absolutely upload them to your own social media, and if so, please tag me. I am Nona Knows Games on Facebook and Instagram as well. So. I always enjoy seeing what you guys did. And I see some people posting their scores in the chat, which is already fun. But yeah, I would love to see what your sheets look like as well. Maybe I'll learn, because clearly I keep getting worse at this. So we're moving on to the second one now. I hope everyone started out with the right one. We are now moving on to the one that says B. And as you can see, when you put them side by side, there's a different layout for that. There's two layouts that you can print off straight away. But if you go to Board Game Geek, there's also a link to a generator that will let you create new sheets randomly. So this has pretty infinite replayability. There's bigger sheets to print and smaller sheets. I'm using the smaller ones. As you can see, I don't have really large hands. I'm also using small dice. So this is like a game that I can just slip into my pocket and basically take with me pretty much everywhere, which is nice. Oh nice, someone has 12 points, they said. Whoa, well done. Well, you clearly made you made many, many great choices. And I absolutely did not. I will direct link you guys to the second sheet in the Twitch chat box right now. In case you don't have it yet. What 
let's see there we go there's a link to the second sheet right now i think it might have accidentally sent twice oh no it didn't okay there we go that'd be good then all right so for anybody just joining we are playing 13 sheep i will repeat the rules really quick we are rolling dice drawing fences and we are going to try and fence them in so by the time the wolf will come to eat them, they should be protected by completely surrounding them. And preferably you want to surround big groups. You cannot draw through bushes. And the game will last at least this many turns and possibly up to this many turns. Depending on what we roll. If we roll this number or higher, the wolf will arrive. And last game we had the wolf arrive over here already. So we had two turns less than we could have potentially had. I'm rolling another one. My dice have really been liking number one today, apparently. I am not, but the dice are. And let's see what I would like to do with this. By the way, I don't think it came up last game, but it is possible to have something split up. So maybe I do this now and then this later. And even if this becomes like a big field, there's a little fence sticking out in the middle of the pasture. That's okay. Just make sure you don't try placing a fence through another fence and using the same edge twice. I laminated mine so they're dry erase, which makes this a little easier. I'm also grabbing another marker because this one is giving out on me a little bit. Okay. Fencing something in right now. I am gonna go ahead and start with this one over here in the corner. And then I cross off the current turn. You can also write the numbers in here then. If I'm going too quickly, you can play along at your own pace. The stream will be saved for two weeks, so you can always watch it back later as well. If you are, you might actually, by the time you see this, you might actually be watching the playback instead of being here live. In that case, I still super appreciate you watching. And I will be doing regular live streams of stem of different Roll and Ride games, even after the convention ends. The next one is a 6. That's a different one. And for anybody just jumping in, you cannot mirror your fences. You can see that by these being the same shape but mirrored and these being the same shape as well. You can only rotate them. If you're bad at that, make sure you have a second sheet and rotate that to make it easier to see how you can actually legally place them. That's my go-to trick because I am really bad at doing that correctly. And I don't want to accidentally mess it up and cheat. Because right now I would have preferred to place a 5 over a 6, but that is not happening. Um, I can't draw through the bush or I can't go there either. I don't really like this one if I'm really honest with you. What are we gonna do with you, you stupid fence? Hmm. This fence makes me unhappy. I'm just gonna go do something really odd over here. And if I can't, this might not be all that useful for doing something over here. But I hope this gives me like a little edge so that I can kind of work my way like that. Plus if I roll a 1 at some point and I can't use it for my big group that I'm now trying to create. I can always save this lone little sheep. I can accept being able to save one lone little sheep. I would definitely prefer to save more. But as long as I saved one. Oh, I didn't mark off turn 2. This is already turn 3. Yeah, I uh, definitely always want to make sure I save at least one. And I did just say I would have liked a five, but I'm not sure if I still need a five with the choices I made previously. I don't think I still want a five, to be honest. Hmm. No, I don't really. And the more you play this, the more you kind of get a feel for the layouts, because if you're better at this than I am anyway... Because obviously you don't want to build your layout in a way that you're going to need the same number like five more times. Because it could happen, but statistically you're likely to get different numbers. I'm still going to go for this, but if I do that then that one is never going to join my big group. But I'm going to try to go for this, because this way at least I need different numbers. I need a two to close this little bit. And this one is never going to join this group, because it is not allowed to draw through the same side multiple times. But if I get a 1, I could fence this little one in at least. And then try to fence in these another way. And maybe make a group like this. Oh, that would be nice if I can actually pull off a group of 5 sheep. I don't think I've done that before. I have scored 13 points once. But I think I did that with like a group of 4 and then a smaller group. But I'm not sure anymore. 
I have saved all of my played sheets by taking pictures of them, so... If I ever really want to know, I could figure that out later. Okay. Another six then. I don't need another six. I really don't. I was gonna try and get this one together with the group. Oh, this might be nice, but then I am gonna need another two if I do it like this to close this off. But I would also be able to work with a four, so that gives me some options. I think I like this. I think I'm liking the way this looks, guys. I might have an actual shot here. Let's see. Next roll. A four. Woohoo! Well, I know where that one is going, but I'll wait a little bit for you guys to think because your choice might not be as obvious as mine. But yeah, I definitely want to put that one over there. And then we're hoping for a 5 over here, maybe. No, I do not actually want that because that would seem like we're drawing this one with the group. But yeah, I could maybe, but then I would have to close it off like this. I think it's better to try and close this one off with like a bit of a smaller fence. So that would be another 4. And then this one with a 1. But we'll see what the dice give us and we'll just adapt as we're doing it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another 4 too much either, Vincent. So we'll see if the dice gods like your request. Let's see if it turns correctly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am caught up. I tr tend to check that a lot when I'm live streaming and talking to you guys. Because I am known to get distracted by interacting with you. And then not actually marking off my turn correctly. So I already decided where I wanted the 2 to go as well. Look guys, it's actually looking pretty neat. I think we might be able to pull this one off. And now I agree even more strongly with Vincent here in the comments. We definitely want another one of those fours. Because then I have saved a big group. I don't think I ever saved that many. Woohoo. If you missed the first game I already told you guys. It's pretty brutal to be honest. Because you tend to lose more sheep than you actually manage saving. Woohoo it's a four. Vincent are you doing a little victory dance? Because I sure am. Like. Okay, there we go. This is gonna go over here. And that means I'm basically giving up on this one. I'm sorry, little sheep. Because if I do place the four over here, I'm never gonna be able to legally fence in this one, pretty much. So, I'm sorry, darling. It's not that I don't like you, but I kind of have to save your friends. So this is definitely, thematically, this is pretty evil. It's like... I'm giving up you so I can save someone else. Just because I can get more points. Rules wise it's pretty relaxing. Because it's not super complicated to play honestly. It's something you can do pretty quickly. But yeah I should expect with these dice rolls. People are getting better scores than we had the first game. We're going to roll again now. If we roll a 6 that means the wolf will come and will be our final turn. So it would be nice if we rolled pretty much anything else. To give us a bit more time to, sh to save some of these. Guys, as you can see this, right? It says six. <sighs> Very loud sighing. Okay, so that is our final turn. And I'm pretty sure I can't save anything else by doing that. So that's unfortunate. But at least I managed all of these. Which I'm pretty happy about. But I really wanted to try and save like this little one. Or maybe this little guy over here. It's not happening. That's just not. There's no way I can pull that off. So we're just gonna uh, put this over here. Just because it looks like fun. This would not actually be a good choice by the way. But <laughs> it looks like fun. And then with the one I'm still able to save this. And it has a little bit more room to move around in. So it looks less sad I suppose. That's it then. So I have one big group of five and no more other groups. But if you have multiple groups that are completely fenced in or multiple lone little sheep, you can count all of them actually. But in my case, I have 12 points. There we go. So as always, please share your results with me either through the Discord channel if you're part of the convention or by maybe posting it on social media. You could even shoot me an email at nonanosgames at gmail.com. If you don't want, po want it posted on social media, but you share still want to share your sheet with me. We're ending nicely on schedule, which is lovely. I will be 
uh, back with you guys in half an hour actually to play another roll and ride called Rolling Village. So maybe I'll see you guys there. If not, thanks for watching. I super appreciate it. And I hope you all had a whole ton of fun. Please post your scores. I'd love to know before I head off. And yeah, thanks again for playing. I always really like doing these. There are actually a couple of couple more play-alongs that you can watch back on Twitch. One for Roll and Cook, but we're going to do another one of that real soon because the cats cause a lot of technical difficulties in real life by trying to knock over the camera multiple times. So yeah, that's not the smoothest stream to watch back, but if you want a good laugh, feel free to watch that. And then there are some from the Dyson Ink series as well, which are definitely a whole lot heavier than these. Those are games that, especially as you're learning them, they might take you 45 minutes or even an hour to play through. But they are really lovely. They have a lot of depth, a lot of different paths to victory. And it really feels like a board game in a roll and ride. And this is just like a quick little filler. So I'm kind of trying to do something for everyone. And if you like the genre, you will see that there's a whole lot of variety in it. And it might not all be for you, that's okay. I like the fact that there are so many different kinds in here to kind of suit every mood. And no matter what, how, many t how much time I have available, I can always play one without doing a whole lot of setup. So that's nice. I'm not seeing any scores come in yet. Are you guys all still busy drawing over here? Or did you guys miss the fact that I rolled so high that the wolf is already eating our sheep? Oh, you saved none. Well, you did really well last time, though. And Vincent has 8 points. Nice. Well, thanks again, guys. I'm gonna head off now and uh, get the next one set up. I'll be back in half an hour. If you can't make it there, then that's alright. Maybe I'll see you another time. Feel free to subscribe as well so that you will get a notification when I go live uh, again after this convention. And I try to put up a schedule every Sunday or Monday with a... With the games I'll be playing that week and the times I'll be playing them. So you can always check my schedule on my Twitch page as well. To have a bit of an idea about what's coming up that week. I haven't posted the ones for the upcoming week yet. So right now it still says the ones we're playing this week. I'll be editing that sometime tomorrow. But yeah, I've been really focused on the virtual gaming con this week. And I hadn't had a whole lot of spare time. Let me check. I might have actually have another one scheduled for tomorrow. Let's see. Yeah, I do actually have one or two scheduled for tomorrow from the Dyson Inc. series. So, but then that's going to be at 7 p.m. my time, which is at noon for the U.S. people. If you are in UTC minus 5, so the convention time zone. And again, those will be saved as well. So if you can't make it again, you can watch them back. And someone else with 8 points. Thanks for sharing your scores. I'll be heading off now. Bye guys and thanks again.